Hello guys, welcome to another requested videos. Uh, this one is question number 14 from paper, uh, May, June 2019. So here we have to complete the squares for this equation. We have to express in this form, okay? So how would you do that? So step by step, the first thing we check is, is the coefficient of x squared 1? If it is 1, then we can proceed to the next step. You will have write x squared minus 7x and leave some space, write plus 5. Now, here I need to add a number. I need to add this number here, which is 7. We don't look at the minus, we just look at the number. It's 7 divide by 2 square. Now when you add something, you also have to minus the same number, okay? So that's so that the equation does not change, right? Now we just have to simplify. Here you will have, we have x here, that becomes x. Here we have minus, that becomes minus. And on the inside we have 3.5 over 7 over 2. You write that. Here we have square, you write square. Here we have plus 5 minus, uh, that is 49 over 4. So let's simplify this. 49, so 5 minus 49 over 4, that is, this is 1 of course, the first step. Everyone become the same base, that will be 20 minus 49, that will be minus 29 over 4. So your answer will be x minus 3.5 square minus 29 over 4. This is how you complete the squares of a quadratic equation. Now, uh, part B, write down, so hence mean using your answer from part 1, write down the minimum value of this equation. So the value is always, so once you complete the squares, will be in this form, or in this form. So let's say it will be in this form, once you finish completing the squares. Now, to find the max or the minimum value, it will always be this number right here. So you will take the value here, which is minus 29 over 4. So the reason why is that's the case is you have to look at the graph, right? So this is a parabola, right, in this shape. And the minimum point is equal to, is at x, 3.5, that is your minimum point. Because when you, f when you complete the squares, you will have something like this. This will represent your minimum point. It will be at this point. So this is x equal to 3.5. So now if you plug in the value of, of 3.5 back to your equation, you will have a value of minus 29.4, oh, sorry, over 4. So that will be your minimum value for that equation. Now, the thing I want to do here, uh, what if you have, let's say, um, let me continue some somewhere else. So let's say if you have 2x squared minus 9x plus 6, for example. Right, in that case, you will have to, let me put 8 here to make it easy for you guys. In that case, you cannot just uh, proceed like this. You will have to first write this down like that. 2x squared minus 8x, leave some space, plus 6. Then we factorize the 2 outside. We need to have x squared minus 4x. Then we have to leave some space, plus 6. So the point is we have to make this become 1, okay? So now we can add this number here. The number will be this number. We don't look at the sign. That will be 4 divide by 2 square. Now we simplify. For example, it will be 2. That will be x because we have x square. So this will be minus. This will be 4 divided by 2 is 2. And we have square. Plus 6. Now if you plus the number, we have to minus by the same number, right? Minus 4 over 2 square. But since this number was inside the bracket, we have also to take out the 2. So you have 2, x minus 2, square, plus 6, minus, this is 2, that will be 8. Sorry, that will be 2, 2. Uh, 4 times 2 will be 8, exactly. So finally, you will have something which looks like this. Minus 2. So now my question is, find the minimum point. You would say, okay. Since I factorize this, this will be my minimum point. I will just have to equate that to 0. So x equal to 2 will be at my minimum point. And what is the my minimum value? So just like the first question, you will look at the this number here. That will be your 
minimum value. Okay, so that was two ways of, so it's one way, but two kind of questions when this is two, and this was one, two, complete your squares. And I hope that was somewhat helpful. And as always, uh, thank you for watching. I will see you soon.